Right, it's going to be my take on the um, the game, really. Uh, well, the new update. So the new update looks really cool. I'll say that just straight off the bat. Uh, now I'm not going to go into the fundamentals of what the game changed and what they did and all the rest of it. I'm just going to give my general overall thoughts. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm not going to look at the patch notes and give you a patch notes review or anything like that. Just going to give my overall general thoughts. Um, so, from a standpoint, from my standpoint, I think it's really good. I think the game's heading in the right direction. Um, okay, he's happy about something. Now, um, here with the missions, go straight into this first. The campaigns. Now, the campaigns, I've done quite a lot of them. Now, the only one I haven't done is the earning um, heal experience, which I was trying to get earlier, but I kept getting killed. Um, doesn't really matter. But um, what I'm saying is some of these, um, I don't feel they're very friendly towards um, new players, really, or just... Um, people in general, because the thing is, you have to be on Esamir, which is a continent, uh, you know, Pacific, uh, bunch of quests, and the annoying thing about that is, is that Esamir isn't always open. Now, it doesn't tell you anywhere that these are Esamir only, so if you click, if you look at the, so let me just go into campaigns really quick. So as you can see, um, it says here, Brave the Storm on Esamir. Now that says Esamir in the title, Brave the Storm. Now, one thing I will say is the storm isn't always there. That's the issue. Um, during low peak times. Now, I went on today during, um, during the day and it was a low peak time because people are probably at work or doing whatever they're doing. And there's just no storm, so I couldn't get that done. So that's a waste of time. I didn't get it done yesterday. I didn't get it done the day before because there wasn't a storm. Um, so yeah. Stuff like this. Um, earn heal experience. Now, you need to go into the Shattered Walk Gate and find people to shoot at. Which can kind of be a pain in the arse, to be honest. Because no one goes there. No one goes there, really. Um, today I was fighting the the one S guys and a few other XXX guys from the TR, and there was a lot of NC going to the walk gate, um, shattered walk gate. Now the problem with that was that it left the map, the actual map, um, in a mess because most of the time it was solo. People would go around solo capping the whole map while you're trying to just get a bunch of heal experience. So. You've either got like two options. You can either go and try and win the map, or you can go and just mess around at Shattered Walkgate. Now, a lot of the stuff is pretty simple to get. Like, I think there was one where it said collect plants. Um, but the thing is, um, with series on PS4, it's not very busy. So, a couple of bases into into the basically the continent. And the continent is being taken, like um, it goes into lockdown and basically you've got 45 minutes to do all the missions sometimes because the server is quite a low pop server. So you're rushing within 45 minutes to get all these things you need. Yesterday, um, yesterday evening I think, it went into a 1 hour 20 um, alert and it took me about... In, in about 1 hour 20 minutes, I got 7 kills. Um, that was including assists. Now, I need 30 of them, so it's a pain in the arse to do, to get kills, just because no one goes there. I just basically sat in a sundra looking around trying to find people, and nobody came. And I got 7 kills uh, randomly, just because um, the enemy came and left their vehicle there, so I went around killing all their vehicles. Now you do get a kill, a kill assist or a kill for shooting someone's vehicle or killing it. Um, so the enemy was flying into the territory to kill the plants. I was just going around killing their vehicles. Um, another thing that I also find really annoying 
is you don't feel the need to kill the enemy. Because it's a low pop server, the enemy is also trying to farm plants and you are also trying to farm plants or whatever your quest says you've got to do. So you go up to them and start killing them and you feel bad because they're only farming plants and they're like, bro, don't shoot me. I'm trying to do a quest. So you shoot them and they're like, oh no, I've got to go back to the shattered warp gate and they get in a plane and fly all the way over there again. And same goes for you. Like I was thinking, do I kill this TR guy? And now it's dead. It's like two in the morning. It's the, you know, there's nobody on the server. There's like 50 people on and there's probably like three people in the shattered warp gate. I go up to this TR and start jumping up and down because I'm like, well, I don't want to kill the guy. And then he shoots me and starts teabagging me. Like, what the fuck? So the problem is with the shattered warp gate is it's hit or miss whether people go there. People don't tend to... Um, people go there, but like, it's only in small numbers. And it's just kind of like... The Shattered Warp Gate would be better if they'd have put it actually in the game. Like, at a base or around a couple of bases. Who's this guy? Oh, he's nice. So it would have made sense for them to put it around a few bases. So that you have to go there and fight over it. Because people aren't going to go there and take away from playing the map. Some people on NC just want to play the map and win. Like, it's, it is what it is. Some people don't care for the um, some people don't care for the campaign. They think it's a load of rubbish, which I get that. They just want to play the game how it's intended to be played, and do the rest of it. Now, for me, the campaigns were fun. Like I really enjoyed the campaigns. Um, I really think it's something new for Planetside, and it gives you something to do um, during times when maybe the server's less busy. It gives you something to just aim for. Now, I've only, with that said, I've only got two more now this one I've had for a long time but I can't do it because you need a storm and SME isn't always open so yeah um, so that's my general take on the campaigns and the rest of it in order for you to do the campaign successfully now I'm talking from a new player perspective and maybe someone who's just played, maybe picked, um, just started playing they're gonna struggle because a lot of times you need to have a squad Oh, Citadel Shield now. They give it that. Oh, sit, uh, Critical Chain, sorry. Citadel Shield. Alright, oh, nice. I oh, they get 25 ISO. Message a courier. Okay. I don't think I'll be sending him any messages anytime soon. But, um, generally, um, I think that the campaigns are going in the right direction. And especially with the missions. Some of the missions are decent. Like, they give you a bit of ISO if that's what you want. And,. But generally, um, let's talk about the missions real quick. They give you implants that people who've played for a long time don't really need. Like, sensor shield, critical chain, no one really needs that. Like, I'm talking from an ASP 100 perspective. New players coming into the game, it gives them something to work towards. But a lot of times, they don't even really know much about what to do. So, for example, um, the other day a guy had to go and farm plants for... Well, he had to go and pick up some plants. He doesn't even know that you have to chop the plants up with your knife. He's going around shooting the plants, trying to shoot them, and he's saying, I don't get what I'm doing. I'm, I, spent, I spent 45 minutes on this um, quest or whatever it is, this mission, and I, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. And he's chatting to me on the mic. So I said to him, I said, oh, right, um, well, what you need to do is go up and hit them with your knife. And he's like, oh, okay, how do you select knife? Honestly, so really, like, it's just a mess. Um, really, from my point of view, if you're looking at it from a new player perspective, a lot of people are confused. Um, really confusing. Now, another thing that people, I've come across that people find really confusing is the fact that you start in... Um, start when the game loads up it puts you here now the reason it puts you here is for the mass obviously to collect the mass and go to vendors and check the vendors out now new um, there was a guy the other day well there's a few guys who I spoke to over the over the over the couple of days 
And a lot of them have said, why do you start here? What's the point of starting here? I want to go into the game. I don't want to be messing around in here. I don't even know what to do here. Um, the other thing is about getting the mask. Now, you can unlock masks in-game. Just one sec, got a cough. So, yeah, um, you can unlock stuff in-game like free masks, um, free stuff. But new players don't know that you can unlock free stuff. Hey, Slick, you need some implants? Like implants, for example, you click on this, I think you get a mask. Or they send you a mask. Now, I'll show you the a mask real quick. Um, so, as you can see, we're in one right now. We're in a grey and white one. We've got like a clown face. Uh, you've got a robot mask. Um, you've got this kind of thing here. Obviously, you can buy ones in game, but I'm not talking about the ones you buy. I'm talking about um, ones that you get for free just by going to a vendor or someone in game. Now, new players don't know they exist. And the amount of new players I've come across that are like, hmm, you can get free stuff. Okay, I'll get free stuff. I mean, I must have spent a good, you know, 45, 50 minutes chatting to a bunch of people, showing them where to get the mask from. You know, it'd be nice if they pointed you towards a vendor to start off the, you know, to start off the alert, or well, to start off the um, new player update. So as soon as you log in, it's telling it's got an arrow telling you all start here, say for example, and it's got an arrow telling you what to do. Like it's telling you to go to that vendor and talk to him. And then it tells you to go to that one, and then it tells you to that one. Now you're probably thinking, well, why you know, do you have to really tell people to get free stuff? You know, a lot of people say, well, if you get free stuff, you get free stuff. Why do you have to make a tutorial about it? It's just keeping people interested in the game, really. People like there was this guy yesterday who'd took a long hiatus from the game for a long period of time. And he came back to this and he didn't even understand any of it. And he's saying to me, I don't understand the missions. Why am I doing the missions? What's the missions? I want to take I want to take a base in the game and my squad's telling me to take a base and I'm trying to do a mission. Like the thing is, the pop the server um, doesn't have the population to fight at. So during Esamir, he's trying to go to Shattered Warp Gate. To do the shattered warp gate stuff, and his squad is BMing him for not following the waypoint. He said, "I joined the squad because I was looking for people who use mic, and I'm getting BM'd for not following the waypoint." You just don't have the population to deal with the shattered warp gate and and the bases. You know, you end up having a 12 to 24 um, fight with probably one or two NC going to um, the shattered warp gate, and there's just not enough people around to defend the base and do the shattered warp gate stuff and even though you go like you go to the shattered warp gate you just don't get many people there like they should have incorporated it as a base where maybe um, a base that's probably in the middle of the map or around the map and then people probably would have been able to do the campaign a lot easier like there's a lot of new players in the campaign that don't understand how to do this so like yeah it's just it's just, I just find it really annoying, really. So, yeah. This new guy here, he's been... Alright, bro, how you doing? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? You do know you can get free stuff in the game, right? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the guy's doing. But yesterday, I was spending a lot of time um, telling people where to go and get the new, uh, new stuff. Like the new mass. Really good. So yeah, I would say that it's a step in the right direction for campaigns. Because during off-peak hours, um, when series is less busy, you can do the campaign. Um, now the problem with the campaign is obviously the um, SMEA map isn't always open. That's the annoying thing. And you, you find yourself coming on during times when you probably wouldn't come on because you're busy with IRL stuff. Like in real life stuff. But yeah. I think the rewards are good for what you get. I mean they're not amazing. But it's something. Um, I like the fact that they've got more vendors now. And I like the fact that the vendors talk to you. Oh this vendor. But this one over here talks to you. Calls you slick. And says hello I think. Implant vendor. 
How you doing, Slick? Take a look, take a look. Yeah, there you go, you see. That's really cool, and it's cool that you can buy uh, these. Obviously, um, veteran players have probably got enough ISO saved up to buy one of these, maybe. Um, or maybe they've just unlocked them by buying the packs, who knows. But it's, it gives you something to work towards. A lot of uh, players coming into the game, like veteran players, there's just nothing for them to do. Like, and new players are coming into the game don't feel the need to, you know, stay because they're confused. They're really confused. Now, I think they were doing a lot of new player tutorials, um, which is good. I think they put a lot of new player tutorials in the game, which is good. Um, so generally, that's my overall take on the on the update. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Obviously, they've got different implants. Well, they had a... I just bought an implant. Um, let, me just, let me just have a look real quick. So the Firestorm implant here. Um, I don't even know if it's any good. Can anyone tell me if it's any good? I've not really not really had a chance to use it. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a Firestorm implant that got a reduction in ISO. So it's obviously... You could buy that. You could buy Firestorm implant um, now for 3,500 ISO, which is nice. I don't know if it's any good, but still. Um, if you haven't got the mask yet, um, you need to go to a vendor on the top floor. Observation deck um, is in the. Um, he's not on the observation deck. He's in the. Um, it's just it's just in a room up there. You'll see it, big massive room. It's like the where they control the ship. I think that's where he is. And um, there's a vendor. If you go up these stairs here and go up the stairs, you'll see a robot on like the middle-ish floor between the stairs. Um, you could click him and get a mask. Um, if you go to these vendors, you'll get a mask from there. Um, that's about it, really. That's all I can really say. Um, I wish the game was a bit busier so that you could have people fighting at the warp gate. I wish they'd incorporated the Shattered Warp Gate into the bases instead of having it as a separate thing so that people just wouldn't... Like, there's a lot of people that are really confused. Like, yesterday, um, a guy came on and he's asking where to do the stuff at the Shattered Warp Gate. And, how, like, he didn't have the implant. Um, so he didn't know where to go, like, the Anacin implant. I think he's sorted now and he's all good, but, yeah. Um, that's my general take on it. Um, any questions feel free to pop them down in the comments section uh, If you have any questions and you see me in game um, feel free to message me. My name is commando uh, see you soon.